children welcome to another session of story time with me i'm miss seema and you're watching seema story time great children i hope you all are doing fine in whichever part of the world you are and listening to our stories please let those comments and feedbacks keep coming tell us which kind of stories you would like us to read and we will be more than happy to do that yes children so in today's story there is somebody who wants to visit india and very very excited to visit so the name of the story is excuse me is this india hmm so i can see that person wants to visit the country and there are various ways to find out whether it is india or not so that's what goes on in this story let's read it to understand it better let's read the story children excuse me is this india so children the name of the story is excuse me is this india it's by anita lutwiller and anushka ravi shankar My aunt Anna came back from India with stories of places to which she had been. To warm me through the winter, she sewed a quilt of pictures of all the things she had seen. I looked at the pictures and secretly thought that one day I'd see all the places and things that were in the quilt my aunt Anna brought. Elephants, bandicoots, crows with black wings. At bedtime I snuggled it under my quilt but just as at the moment I looked close my eyes I suddenly became a bright blue mouse and soon I was in for a bigger surprise I was sitting in an aeroplane high up in the air a man who sat beside me asked with a friendly stare Where do you think you are going and what will you do there? I'm sorry sir, I said to him. I don't know where this goes. You only have he pointed out to follow your own nose. So when we landed finally, I followed my nose to the sea. A cow stood on the sunny bench eating paper from a bin. I went to her and asked her, "Ma'am, which country am I in?" "It's east of this and north of that, and southwest of the other. At this four crows that stand around began to carve together. It's east, it's south, it's north, it's west. They circle down my head. I put a seashell to my ear to hear the sea instead." I saw a girl outside her house. I thought we could be friends. Where am I? I asked her. She replied that depends. She drew a map without a place and said, "Let me explain the case. If you are standing on your head, I'd say you are on your hair. But since you're standing on your feet, you could be anywhere." I left her with a silent sigh. She waved her broom to say goodbye. I met two furry bandicoots running in the garden. Excuse me, I called to them. They answered, "Beg your pardon. Could you tell me where am I and where I ought to go?" They twitched their noses and they said, "We are sorry, we don't know. We might be at the equator or even the North Pole. It doesn't matter much to us. We live inside a hole." Just outside a temple gate stood an elephant. Off with your shoes! Off with your shoes! He blabbed. He blabbed to all who went. Please help me, sir! I said to him. I really need to know. 
where it is that I have come and how I have to go. First left, then right, then up, then down, then back, then forth, then here, then there. Then to then forth he carried on. I ran away in great despair. I hopped into a three-wheeled car and called out, Take me there. The driver started off at once. He never asked me where. Suddenly he stopped and said, At last you are getting near. Near to what? I asked him. He bellowed in my ear, Near to this is far from that. I think that's very clever. Though it wasn't clear to me, I nodded very cleverly. At a shop, I stopped to see if I could get a hint. For where I was but all I saw were clothes of every tint. Where am I and what's this place? I asked of everyone. A woman came and said to me, You are so far as you can run. But if you learn to fly, then you could catch up with the sun. I left the shop with a happy hop. I hopped until the airport and there there was a sign. But suddenly I realized I couldn't read a line. I asked a bearded gentleman. He said, oh, don't you know? It doesn't matter where you are, but where you want to go. I sat down there and scratched my head and thought of what the man had said. I jumped into an aeroplane and got prepared to fly. But a gloomy person said to me, you will never reach the sky. The pilot says this plane has got a very stubborn wing. It only flies if somebody will continuously sing. I sang a long and endless song with a silly tune. I wondered where I was going now and whether I'd reach soon. I opened my eyes and found it was morning. It was only a dream and I was in bed. Outside my window I saw it was snowing. and All that had happened was inside my head. I looked at Aunt Anna's quilt and I thought, one day I'll get a real aeroplane and fly off to India like my Aunt Anna and see all those people and places again. The end. That was a cute little dream the child had. Wow, children, did you realize that this child's aunt made a quilt which had pictures of India and because of that this child was taken into a totally imaginary world where he thought or she thought that it's in India. Yes. Mm. And then the various different things that you find in India. And finally the child decided that one day definitely going to visit this country. Well, I can very surely say that in India is a vibrant country and India has so many different faces, so many different religions, so many different states because of which it is a diverse country. And whoever wants to visit India, I'm sure they will never be disappointed because there is so much to see, there's so much to learn, there's so much to take in. Yes, children? Wow. So, if I keep talking about India, it will be non-stop. But anyway, we have come to the end of another exciting story session for, with me, children. And we are going to come back with more. Till then, from our story room, it's a bye-bye. See you soon.